Hey, this is QAH here, bringing you the Art Conquest Chapter 3, Act 1, Who Misses of Smoke and Forest is Dark, even though that title does not make any sense. Chapter 3, Act 1, probably already said that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you're feeling me. Here, you could probably see the commissions. Why haven't you done your commissions yet? I've been exploring some room. It's pretty lit. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not going to speak as much of course. So, but let's get into this. Now that we made it to Samaru, our next objective should be to head to Samaru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your brother. But even so, people call Samaro the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information! Of course, we start off with a conversation with her mind. Like any other request. Good morning to you all, or good afternoon, or good night, whenever you're watching this. But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Samaru City! Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven on it! That'll give us a way better view of things! Or we can just teleport and we could just fly over. Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Wait a second! Look! There's someone up ahead! Perfect timing! Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventurers. Hey there! <laughs> We're not from around here, and seem to have gotten a little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. Huh? Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey! You over there! Could you give us some directions? Huh? What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. Oh, wait! Could she be ignoring us? She? Hmm. Well, even so, she might be heading someplace where we could find other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Come on, let's follow her. Just keep quiet. Make sure she doesn't notice us. Yeah, make sure she doesn't notice us, but also let's flick to a random angle of the Statue of the Sentence. Something, but uh, it looks like that's not the case. Look, she's sitting over there. Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here, could she? Uh, what should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? Uh, yeah, we lost, and she's the only person we see. Regardless if she don't like us or not, she's gonna respect us. All right then. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. Even if she's not very friendly, we just need her to point us in the right direction. That's all! Oh! Mmm! What a lovely smell! It's coming from that sensor over there. This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice! Mmm! Maybe living here wouldn't be too bad after all. Huh? What's the matter? You don't look too...
too good. Why did that just scare me? My girl, you have some flashbacks? What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange. Paimon doesn't feel anything. I've got to get out of here. I think I'm going to pass out. What's happening? Traveler? This is no time for a nap. Oh, come on. Wait Are we finally going to get answers about her brother? No, we're not. We're in a Dixie A land. I ain't gonna hold you. This is the only time where we can actually escape from their mind. It won't let me mute my mic, so. This little lucid dream. Ain't no time for you dying. Yet. is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that she's going to be alright, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, are you awake now? Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're finally awake! Yeah, yelling at me when I'm first being awoken as conscious is not going to help either. built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. That's beautiful, but was I even laying down? My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. My master and I found you passed out during our patrol, so we brought you here. Oh, no, no things are necessary. I didn't do anything, really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. Alright, I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. Uh, sorry. 
sorry, Master. <sighs> now, the guide to Avidya Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. Like right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful. Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then we'll just let him be. But the next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure to charge him accordingly. So, how are you doing? Feeling better? This is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarverville. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as Spirit Borneal to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. The incense you smelled inside was the Spirit Borneal I just mentioned. That incense typically has no effect on most people. But for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition as you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Hmm. Kale, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? W why Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Will food be provided? Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gundarbaville for further observation while you recuperate. Further observation? No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your mental state is not in the best of shape. Oh, bro, we should take a dose of that now. If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Whoa! Are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. <sighs> Seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but you really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here worrying about you, you know! 
That's great, but there's more important things. What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? You mean the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? When I saw the vision, it felt as if I was standing deep on the ground. But the red sky pink. Could it have been Kajara? I, I butcher. Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? But if that's the case, why would he try to hide that from us? You kind of just contradict what you just said. You mean, T already knows that there weren't hallucinations, so why would he keep us hidden here? Because them weren't hallucinations. There are probably something serious. Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? I really hate how in some moments in our conquest, I'd be really engaging, tuning in, ready to learn. And then there's some moments where they talk in circles. And I'm sitting here, it's just, did y'all reread what y'all wrote down? Or like reread some of the script because it's just <sighs> Good idea! Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. <laughs> 